All right, what's up guys? Colder months, fish start to really slow down, and this is when I really like to start using scents on my baits, especially those finesse baits that we're gonna be using so much uh, during these cold seasons. So what uh, putting a scent on the bait does is uh, three different things. First, it masks the scents that you uh, run into. Uh, you know, when you're filling up your boat and you spill gasoline all over yourself, uh, oil from the oil things, uh, just uh, you know, little sunscreen. You know, who knows what you're scratching? I know you keep scratching your butt. <clears throat> you know who you are. Um, anyway, so that's the first thing is it masks our terrible scents. But the second thing is it creates a bait trail. So if this thing has a bunch of scent on it and I'm hopping along the bottom, these fish, they're not very active this time of the year. A lot of times they'll track that bait, they'll look at it, they'll nose down on it, and that little scent trail, they'll smell and taste that and um, they'll be more likely to bite it. And then that brings us to our third advantage of using scents is when they do bite it, it is proven that they will hold on to something that is naturally scented longer than something that is not scented. So you have more time, you know, we're cold as well and, and we take a little bit more time to actually react and set that hook and you're gonna get a little bit more time when you actually have those scents. Um, when I'm spraying on anything, there's, there's different stuff. There's a uh, bang spray that is very easy to apply and then there's these kind of gels that um, stay on very very well, except for uh, they also stay on your hands very well and they, uh, it, it's disgusting. So I always make sure to carry a towel around. Um, one last thing is I always try to match my scent to what I'm trying to mimic. So for instance, this would be a crawdad I was trying to mimic. So I would use a crawdad scent. Um, likewise, when I'm trying to mimic those uh, dying little shad and with those little drop shot baits and stuff, I'm gonna spray uh, some kind of shad bang on it. Anyway guys, hopefully this helps. If you would like to see any tips, leave a comment in the comment section of what you would like to see me do it on. Anyway, I'm Travis, Lucky Tackle Box. I'll see you out in the water.